Now I'm going to show you how you can uh, reframe interview shots. Now, there's a couple things that you cannot do um, when you're shooting interviews. Is If you shoot them too tight, then you can't reframe them because you can't really z use Premiere to zoom out on the picture. Um, but you can zoom in. So uh, if you're going to err, do a, an error on um, you know shooting a little bit too wide. But uh, and also having a little bit wider shot allows you to cut later to a tighter shot and make it look like you did two different shots when all you did was shoot one. So this is not terrible. Uh, the background's not too great, but and don't ever try to frame something just to get a extra little flower or plant or picture in the frame or even worse a logo because it's about the person it's not about the background um, also the other thing you want to do is make sure that you don't get the person looking in the wrong direction like this um, where they are looking maybe at the interviewer or somebody's asking questions but this person's sitting way too far to the side of the camera and then they're not really connecting with the audience they're looking like they're almost looking at something that's you know completely out of the scene but let's take a look at this so let's park on this one and all you do is you park inside the 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 video frame that you want to uh, change and then you have to select it and when you do if it's not selected and you come up here and you change to effects controls nothing shows up in here but as soon as it's selected then the controls show up and you have to be inside here to so you can see what's going on and then what you want to do is you've, you've, you're going to zoom in Okay, and just increase this number and notice that pushes her off the screen so let's bring her back in and then we'll bring it down and you just drag click and drag with your mouse and so now that's quite a bit different so this is a much better shot to do the interview from because it's about her it's no longer about the background so again let's just look at that just we're just going to click it says un undo so we're going to undo the zoom and notice you have to be careful because we also repositioned it because um, if, if there's this black off of here so let's undo that too so this was the original frame when we if we had just moved her over first okay and then brought her down or whatever then we have this black as we zoom in we could do it that way too but it's easier to zoom in first and that also gives us a little bit more flexibility okay and we get, get everywhere should we want to go now let's do the same thing with this shot it's a little bit different uh, same type of problem it's a little too wide also there's all this distracting junk here in the back um, number one you probably want to avoid this as much as possible just to start with like if you see this in the back of your frame then move it or change it or do a different shot maybe move the camera the other way and look but you probably don't know when you're looking out the window but uh, I'll show you how to fix this too so it's exactly the same combination now even though the controls are showing up they're about this shot right now so you gotta click on this shot to make it be about this shot and then again we're just gonna zoom in and then we'll bring her over and bring her down back into the frame and you'll see this stuff is still over here which doesn't look great but it's a lot less distracting because she's filling up most of the frame and you don't want to like zoom in right on the end of her nose and you don't want to be cutting off the top of her head but you could probably even get away with something like this which is again much more about her and less about the distracting mess that's in the background and again what you want to avoid is shots like this where they're just looking completely away almost like they're looking at something that's not even involved in the shoot okay so that's how you do that